Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Now we discuss about the product for star type architecture with low transmission latency for a 2D mesh NOC. Next we see the abstract for the product. The 2D mesh network on chip is a popular NOC topology because of a network scalability and the use of simple routing algorithm. However, the long distance traffic may suffer from high transmission latency. In this paper, we propose an improved design called the star type architecture in which the long distance traffic is allowed to transfer an additional second level mesh. This 2D mesh network on chip topology is characterized by the relatively large average distance between nodes. When the network size is increased to the long distance traffic suffers from the high transmission latency. Moreover, the blocking probability in the wormhole routed networks increases. In this paper, we present an improved design for 2D mesh NOC topology which can reduce the hope count of long distance traffic. The basic concept of the design is separation from the long distance traffic from the short distance traffic. We divide the mesh several into 3 cross 3 mesh and connect the central nodes of each 3 cross 3 mesh router. Moreover, the central nodes of each 3 cross 3 mesh are connected to the diagonal nodes. This choice of topology for the NOC is important to considering that the topology affects the such parameters as area, power and performance of the designs. Some papers proposed a new network architecture or router designs that can increase the traffic transference speed in original 2D mesh topology. So this paper to reduce the 2D reduce the hope count in long distance traffic. This is the basic work of the papers in 2D mesh network on chip based NOC topology based on hope to hope data transfer communications. Next, we see the flow diagram for the product. First, the input data bits to be applied to the our acute NOC source router architecture. The source router architecture to be controlled by the clock and reset elements. Each and every time, we analyze the clock and reset signals and the clock based signal to be controlled by the data transmission for source to destination positions. Each elements to consist of the source router architecture each router architecture consists of the internal and external node communications and the slave router architecture and the network interface and selection control for each and every router internal architecture for one source router architecture. Then the source router architecture to be connected by the start type hope router architecture network because the start type hope router architecture for communicate with the 3 cross 3 diagonal matrix architecture and each and every node communications to be presented for the central node communications process. If we implement the two kind of things in our star type NOC architecture, one is the external node and another one is the internal node communication. External node communication, we maintain the output for the external sections or based on the hope to hope data transfer process. Internal node communication, once we satisfy the in external hope route destination positions and the passing to the internal diagonal matrix com communication. The diagonal matrix communication, we implement the destination position and destination selection logic for each 3 cross 3 router architecture. If the destination to be equal and to passing to the start type hope router functions. If the destination to also consider of the internal and external router architecture, slave and network interface and the selection logic. This selection logic to maintain the switch control for external and internal connectivity for overall start type NOC architecture process. This is our the flow diagram for our required NOC architecture. Finally, we see the output for the product. This is our the router design for Xilinx IEC project. This is our the project software and we implement the our project was Xilinx and to develop the VHTL code for our NOC architecture process. This is our the simulation process for select and simulate behavior model. Then to create the ISIM file for a required simulation oriented purpose.
just we apply the data and to declare the destination node positions and to passing the shortest path between the external and internal node communication then finally got it to the destination node output then to set the reset and clocking functions for acute data transmission process in overall NOC architecture then writing to 1 and reset to be 0 then passing to the then apply the continuous clocking pulses for required output data signals then to finally we get the output for the data output signal and we implement the destination node positions for a 15th and external position and the internal position is 2 so we passing the output to be the 15th and external and internal communications for overall NOC architecture this is the network data passing in overall NOC structure for required output architecture this is the final screenshot for start type NOC architecture then we go to the implementation based process then we analyze the RTL and technological diagram for a required our coding based process RTL means register transfer level and the technology diagram is to represent the FPGA gate implementation based process for required start type NOC structure then the RTL diagram then add and create schematic for our overall NOC architecture size this is our the required structure for our NOC architecture then we go to the then we go to the synthesis report for our required NOC architecture process this is our the device utilization summary for this is our the device utilization summary for overall NOC architecture process this is the LUT and uh, flip flop pairs and bonded input output com connections count level for overall NOC architecture and finally we see the timing summary this is our the overall running time and the latency time and the clock frequency speed for overall NOC architecture this is the final output for start type NOC architecture in VLSI